Well, with all of these calls to all of these companies, especially in the United States, I felt I was neglecting my friends and my cousins over there in the UK. So I thought I'd give L'Oreal a call. That's right, the people who make all the shampoos and the hair products. I thought I'd give them a call and ask them, how do they feel about supporting Israel? And indeed, I got, <laughs> I had a bit of fun. I, I got to tell you, I apologize for being an asshole. No, wait a minute, I don't. I really don't give a shit. You know why? Because these people have made their choice. If they really wanted to, they could work for any one of many telemarketing companies. But they choose to work for a company that supports Israel. So, if the cap fits, let them wear it. And look out, because Steve Johnson is going to call you up and expose you for the asshole that you really are. Take a listen now as I call L'Oreal in the UK. L'Oreal, good afternoon. And a very good afternoon, ma'am. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you. Can I help you? Fantastic. Have I called L'Oreal Consumer Info Line? One moment, please. Thank you for calling the L'Oreal Paris Advice Line. Your call may be monitored or recorded for training and quality purposes. The information you provide may be stored in our database to help us address your query and for monitoring and reporting purposes. One of our advisors will be with you shortly. Good afternoon, you feature L'Oreal. Can I take your surname, please? Yes, hello, sir. How is everything today? Sorry? Yes, hello, sir. How is everything today? Yeah, not bad. That's fine, mate. Yeah, not bad at all. How, how are yourself? How are you doing? Fantastic. Uh, Having a dandy time here, I must say. Excellent. Okay, cool. Um, how, how can I help you anyway? Well, sir, I would like to congratulate L'Oreal for the slaughter of 13... Hundred Palestinian people. I think it's doing a justice to the world to get rid of all these Arabs. As an American Jew, I feel grateful that L'Oreal has played its part in funding Israel to the tune of how many million has it been? Oh, oh, you don't have that figure? I do. 4.5 million dollars in the last financial year. Okay, how, 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 sorry, um, I'm sorry, I wouldn't, uh, would you like to speak to our, um, what, what is it that you, uh, I mean, how is it that you'd like me to help you? Well, sir, as I said, I'm calling up to congratulate L'Oreal on doing such a fantastic job of slaughtering Arabs. Isn't it great that the world is less 1,300 Palestinians, thanks to L'Oreal, helping and assisting the slaughter of Palestinians? Fantastic. I'm sure you get a good wage there, sir. I bet you do, sir. Can I put you on hold, please? Do I have a choice? Well, uh, I'm just wondering who I should put you through to, because I don't know if I'm the, the, the really relevant uh, person for you to speak to. Is this not the L'Oreal Information Customer Care Line? Yeah, the, 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 well, this is... We advise people on hair products. I mean, if, if you're wanting... I mean, you know, I'm... Uh, yeah, we, we we advise people on the use of the products. Um, so, so what are you going to do? Are you actually going to load some hair products in uh, Israeli missiles and, and fire them into Palestinian occupied territories? You're going to fire hairspray and indeed shampoo at the Palestinians? Is that your your suggestion, sir? No, I didn't suggest anything. I was wow. asking you if you. I mean, it might be a more relevant department for you to speak to. What? Well, well, you're not even aware that L'Oreal funds the Israeli war machine? Is that correct? Uh, I couldn't comment on that. I, I, we... No, that wasn't the question. I'm not asking for your comment. I'm asking you, sir, are you not aware that L'Oreal, in fact, in 1998, they won the biggest award that Israel ever gives any nation or, or company from Prime Minister then Netanyahu, which was the highest award ever awarded by the State of Israel in recognition of individuals or organizations that make Israel what it is today. They got the Jubilee Award. Isn't that great, sir? I bet that it's hanging proudly in front of you right there. You see that big silver star? Did you get a silver star as well when they got that, sir? I, ha I haven't got a silver star. Wow. Uh, How old were you in 1998, sir? I uh, was 17. Wow. So you had even no idea that L'Oreal were funding Israel way back then. Uh, I couldn't comment on that anyway. Let, let me I'm not asking for your comment, sir. I'm wondering whether or not you have any clue at all as to... I, I, you know, I, I'm not going to be able to answer your question. So, um, well, is this not the information, customer information line, 
Or have I uh, have I called oh, no, 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 okay. have I called British Telecom again and got some dumb operator? I'm sorry, I must have called the wrong number because I thought I got a no. customer information line, oh. and it sounds to me like you don't have much information. Is there somebody, somebody there that might have the information that I seek, sir? Let me just see. Let me see if I can just pop you on hold a second. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Sure. Okay. So, so what was your name? I beg your pardon. What What was your name? Well, you didn't give me your name first. Uh, my name's Theon. Fantastic. My name is Steve, sir. Great to have you. Put me through. Okay, two seconds, Steve. Two seconds. All right. Hi, Steve. Yes, sir. Hello. Hi, Steve. Yeah, we we we, we have we have got a reply that we can put in writing for you. I beg um, your if, pardon. If you, we have got we have got um, a, a reply that we can put in writing for you. Um, if you'd like. Uh-huh. Um, if, if, if you'd like to give me your name and address, and I can send you a reply in writing. Well, what, what's the basis of this uh, letter that you're going to put in writing? Okay, I mean, <coughs> we, we, I, I would have to prepare the paper. I'm, I'm, I'm not able to really comment on the, on what the questions that you've asked me. Have I asked you any questions? All I've said is, I'm, I'm, I'm... Great, I'm, I said I'm grateful that L'Oreal is supporting Israel in the slaughter of 1,300 Palestinians, including okay. at least 500 children. And you know, it's really good that you guys support the killing of so many children, because in this day and age, in the 21st century, we see that as war crimes. And people who support these companies and countries in their war crimes are just as guilty as those who pull the trigger. How do you feel now about accepting cash from a company like L'Oreal? Okay, look, I, I, I can I, I look, at the end of the day, I'm not going to be able to comment on what you're saying, but, you know, I mean, it is a case where um, L'Oreal is a company that we, we are present in, in a large number of countries in the Middle East. So it's not that, we, you know what I mean, it's not that we're... Um, well, actually, Dion, yes, sir, I do know what you mean. And I do understand where you're coming from. But you, you agree to work for a company that is supporting what we call one of the racist, most racist and hated nations on Earth that is going ahead and dropping white phosphorus on civilian populations. And that to you doesn't seem too bad, because you go home at the end of the week with your, your 50 old quid in your pocket, mate, and go and spend it down a pub. Is that all right with you? Yeah, and you know what, sir? There's a lot of people in Palestine tonight that can't go to their local pub and have a pint, because they don't have a pub. In fact, they don't even have a house. In fact, most of the people in Palestine don't have a family because of L'Oreal supporting a, comp a country, an, an illegal state like Israel. So I hope you have a good pint at the end of the week, sir, because there's a lot of people who will not be having a pint in the in the country of Palestine. I don't understand why it's got to do with me going for a pint. I don't understand. Well, you're failing to see the whole point, aren't you, mate? That, that's my whole point of it, isn't it? Why, why are you doing, not putting on that voice? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to speak to you. I'm just trying to speak to you about this, and you're 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 moving across to me. It's not it's nothing to do with me. Um, so. You, I mean, you phoned up about the company, not myself. Well, I, do you not work for the company, sir? I do work for the company. So you're taking cash in hand to work for a country that supports oh. an illegal state like Israel? And you feel quite comfortable about that? I'm not willing... How do you sleep at night uh, on your conscience... I can't answer a personal question about... Knowing that so many children are being killed by tanks and bombs that are being funded by your company. How do you sleep at night, sir? I'm not, I'm not willing to answer a personal question to you. I, I don't know who you are. Well, I don't give a shit, frankly. Well, what I am concerned about are the people of Palestine. And if you're not concerned about that, maybe you should get a job sorting mail for British Post. Or maybe another job like handing out pamphlets. Or with a sandwich board. Maybe you can walk down the mall. You know, there are lots of jobs for people like you. Washing car windows. But you know what? When you support a company like L'Oreal, you're supporting Nazism. Do you have a brown shirt there, sir? Do you salute Adolf Hitler every time you go to work? I don't salute Adolf Hitler, no. Well, that's surprising, sir, because the, the nation of Israel are adopting Nazi-type policies. In fact, the Warsaw Ghetto is very similar to what's happening in Gaza in this day and age. Very similar. In fact, the similarities are disturbing. And you support a company that supports hey, I mean, we're going this kind of genocide? 
Okay, we're going, okay. Around, to, we're going around in circles here. No, sir, we're not. We're, we're pointing out facts, and you're, you're finding that uncomfortable, because these facts are hitting home. This is 1934, okay. sir. You're, this is 1934, and you are supporting the brown shirts. Well, you could say I'm an argumentative asshole, and indeed you won't get any denial from me about that. And why do I do this kind of thing? Well, find out when I get through to his supervisor in part two. Please click the link underneath this video to find out how this call ends. Well, with all of these calls to all of these companies, especially in the United States, I felt I was neglecting my friends and my cousins over there in the UK. So I thought I'd give L'Oreal a call. That's right, the people who make all the shampoos and the hair products owes you for the asshole that you really are. Take a listen now as I call L'Oreal in the UK. L'Oreal, good afternoon. And a very good afternoon, man. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Can I help you? Fantastic. I thought I'd give them a call and ask them, how do they feel about supporting Israel? And indeed, I got, <laughs> I had a bit of fun. I, I got to tell you, I apologize for being an asshole. No, wait a minute, I don't. I really don't give a shit. You know why? Because have I called L'Oreal Consumer Info Line? One moment, please. Thank you for calling the Loyal Paris Advice Line. Your call may be monitored or recorded for training and quality purposes. The information you provide may be stored. These people have made their choice. If they really wanted to, they could work for any one of many telemarketing companies, but they choose to work for a company that supports Israel. So, if the cap fits, let them wear it. And look out, because Steve Johnson is going to call you up and expose.